Holy, 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 are you Lord God Almighty? Worthy is the Lamb. Holy Jesus, worthy is the Lamb. Holy Jesus. Holy, 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 are you Lord God Almighty? Worthy is the Lamb. Holy Jesus, worthy is the Lamb. Holy Jesus. Glory, 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 are you Lord God Almighty? Worthy is the Lamb. Holy Jesus, worthy is the Lamb. Holy Jesus. Glory, 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 hallelujah, worthy is the Lamb, holy Jesus, worthy is the Lamb, holy Jesus, worthy is the Lamb, holy Jesus, worthy is the Lamb, holy Jesus. Glory, 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 glory to the Lord God Almighty. Good morning, kingdom citizens. How are you all doing? I know y'all are still just waking up. I'm still just waking up. But it is a wonderful, glorious day. I pray and hope that you all woke up with the praise and worship on your heart, mind, and soul for the Lord. That you are ready to conquer and walk victoriously in Jesus Christ today. Amen. So glory, glory, glory. This is Dive Into the Word, a daily Bible reading where we are getting through the Bible in one entire year. But we are reading the words of God every single day. Every single day. So this is Friday, Testimony Friday. Fridays, we tell our testimonies. If you have any testimonies, if you remember the goodness of the Lord, it don't matter what year it happened, when you tell the testimonies of the Lord God in your life and what's going on. And so today we're reading Psalms 34 and 35. We're reading Psalms 34 and 35. I am I am doing what I can to try to share but I don't know what's going on with the So if you're having a hard time sharing this morning, I am having a hard time sharing this morning. It's not letting me. Let's see. All right. Well, let's pray. If you can share, if, if, if Facebook is going to let you share, if you can share, go ahead and do that. Um, and let's pray. Heavenly Father, Jehovah God, creative heaven and earth, Abba Father, we come to you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. We glorify you and we thank you, Lord God Almighty, for everything. We thank you for waking us up this morning, ordering our steps, Lord God. We just acknowledge you, we glorify you, we thank you, Lord God, for being God and Father. We thank you that you are in control of every situation, circumstance, everything that goes on on this earth, Lord Jesus. We know that you are in control and that you are governing everything that goes on on this planet, Lord God. And I just pray for the body of Christ, Lord Jesus. I pray for the people of God. I pray for your anointed ones. I pray, Lord Jesus, that you continue to pour strength and energy and healing into our mind, body, and soul, Lord God. Heal us. Give us the strength. Give us the energy to continue to hold our heads held high. To continue to seek you, Lord. Seek the counsel of the Lord first and foremost. 
to seek the kingdom of heaven. Continue to pour into us to be obedient to you, Lord God. And as we read the words of God every day, every morning, Lord God, that you will increase knowledge, wisdom, and understanding in us, Lord Jesus. Help us to stay awake. Help us to be aware. And help us to always be ready. Ready for whatever you bring, whatever comes our way. Lord God, armor us up. And help us to march and move when you move. And be still when you be still, Lord God. And I would just glorify you and I thank you, Lord God. And we pray this in the presence of Jehovah and the spirit of Jesus Yahweh and Jesus' holy mighty name. Amen. 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 Good morning. Good morning, kingdom citizens. I am going to attempt to try this one more time. And see, as I try to share, it keeps flashing. The live thing, it flashes. It's flashing right now. So something's wrong with it. Something's wrong. I don't know what Facebook is doing, but hey. Uh, I'm not able to share from my phone. So. Alright, so if you are able to share. I don't know if it's just my desktop, my computer or if it's going on everywhere. All right, so let's go to Psalms 34. All right, Psalms 34. All right, I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. My soul shall make her boast in the Lord. The humble shall hear thereof and be glad. Oh, magnify the Lord with me and let us exalt his name together. I sought the Lord and he heard me and delivered me from all my fears. They looked unto him and were lightened, and their faces were not ashamed. This poor man cried, and the Lord heard him and saved him out of all his troubles. The angel of the Lord encamped round about them that fear him and delivereth them. O oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. Blessed is the man that trusts in him. You know, I have to pause right there and, and just give God glory. This is this is so perfect. It's testimony Friday and oh, magnify the Lord with me and let us exalt his name together. Amen. God is just so good and so awesome and so amazing. It, it, I mean, there's just so much goodness to talk about, you know, and we want to talk about that. So tell your testimonies today, you know, shout out the name of the Lord Jesus Christ today. Let the atmosphere hear his name, you know, the, the goodness that that is so perfect. That is so perfect for today is January 8th. We have made it the eighth day. You know, they say seven, the seventh day was the day of completions. And eight, the eighth day is always the day of beginnings. So we, I mean, just completely in a brand new year, we're starting over completely new things, new beginnings. And just glorify the Lord God. That that is awesome. So verse nine. Oh, fear the Lord, ye his saints, for there is no want to them that fear him. The young lions do lack and suffer hunger, but they that seek the Lord shall not want any good thing. 
Come, ye children, hearken unto me. I will teach you the fear of the Lord. What man is he that desires life and loveth many days that he may see good? Keep thy tongue from evil and thy lips from speaking guile. Depart from evil and do good. Seek peace and pursue it. The eyes of the Lord are upon the righteous and his ears are open unto their cry. The face of the Lord is against them that do evil to cut off the remembrance of them from the earth. Ver that, that verse 14 is so perfect for right now. I mean, like, depart from evil and do good. Seek peace and pursue it. Like, we should be quoting this scripture and telling everybody, you know, telling everyone. Type it in, type it in your, in your Facebook, in your thing. Depart from evil and do good. Seek peace and pursue it. You know, there's so much, there's so much, so much going on and people are not knowing what to do and, 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 you know, the chaos that is happening and, and, and they're and they're wondering what to do. Well tell them Psalms thirty four verse fourteen depart from evil and do good. Seek peace and pursue it above anything other than God. Seek God. Seek peace. Seek truth, you know? Any comments, any comments, y'all be typing out them testimonies. All right, so verse 17, the righteous cry and the Lord heareth and delivereth them out of all their troubles. The Lord is nigh unto them that are of a broken heart and saveth such as be of a contrite heart. A spirit. Many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord delivereth him out of them all. He keepeth all his bones, not one of them is broken. Evil shall slay the wicked, and they that hate the righteous shall be desolate. The Lord redeemeth the soul of his servants, and none of them that trust in him shall be desolate so good morning good morning kingdom citizens if you are just coming on good morning we just read psalms 34 um this psalms was perfect for today it is a psalm of david when he changed his behavior before Ambalek who drove him away and he departed. So, you know, David David was was pursued. David was sought after. David um they they wanted to kill David. They wanted to destroy David. They wanted to get rid of David because of Saul. And David if if there's anyone that learned how to dance in the midst of the storms, or dance in the rain, meaning praising the Lord God Almighty no matter what. David is someone who truly, truly learned that. How to be able to seek God in the midst of the fiery darts coming after him. You know, the enemy literally seeking to steal, kill, and destroy him. And so... While we are living in a world full of chaos, while we are living in a world full of evil, we are living in a world full of ungodly, we can still praise 
worship and glorify the Lord God Almighty because he hears the cry of the righteous. He delivers us out of our troubles. And we read, and this is verse 17, the righteous cry and the Lord heareth and delivereth them out of all their troubles. The, the Lord is nigh unto them that are of a broken heart and saveth such as be of a contrite spirit. I mean, God is right there with the righteous, with those that trust him. Beverly says, Psalms 34 is my favorite. It has so much in it. Prayers of praise, inquiries for protection, nuggets of wisdom for personal conduct, and contemplations of peace. Amen. It, I mean, the, the, the schedule that I'm going by, I mean, it lines it up. I mean, it's so perfect for today. It, it, it's a beautiful Psalms. And it, it really, really, it really gives you confidence and strength to know that in the midst of troubles, in the midst of chaos, in the midst of evil, God hears the cries of the righteous. And he hear and he and he he saves us out of the midst of troubles, you know. So whatever's happening, what whatever's happening out there in the world, you know, children of God, kingdom citizens, know that God hears your cry. God hears you. Those of you that trust in Him, believe in Him depend and rely on him those of you that praise and worship and, and and glorify him you know no matter what you're going through all right so psalms excuse me that was deep psalms 35 All right, Psalms 35. Plead my cause, O Lord, with them that strive with me. Fight against them that fight against me. Take hold of shield and buckler and stand up for mine help. Draw out also the spear and stop the way against them that persecute me. Say unto my soul, I am thy salvation. Let them be confounded and put to shame that seek after my soul. Let them be turned back and brought to confusion that devise my hurt. Let them be as chaff before the wind and let the angel of the Lord chase them. Let their way be dark and slippery and let the angel of the Lord persecute them for without cause have they hid for me their net in a pit, which without cause they have digged for my soul. Let destruction come upon him at unawares and let his net that he hath hid catch himself into that very destruction. Let him fall. So I want to pause right there again. Like I said, David, David was sought after David, you know, they, they, you know, because of, of King Saul, he, uh, he wanted to destroy David. He wanted to seek, kill, steal and destroy. And this is the enemy, the enemy, Satan. This is what he does to us. So when we pray for safety, like when we, when we pray, we're praying for safety from God's very own enemy. God's very own enemy has become our enemy and he seeks to steal, kill and destroy. And so we're saying to the Lord, let the enemy be confounded and put to shame. 
because he seeks after our soul. Let him be turned back and brought to confusion because he devises our hurt. Let him be like the chaff before the wind and let the angel of the Lord chase him instead of him chasing us. You know, so when you're reading this, this is how you, it's, it's the enemy. It's the enemy that uses people. The enemy uses people. The enemy uses things. The enemy uses, you know, whatever he can to try to steal, kill, and destroy. And so we actually, you know, understand what David was going through. We, we actually, and we can pray this. We can pray this, that the enemy be, you know, destroyed instead. Let him fall, not us, right? All right, so verse 9. Excuse me. Verse 9, and my soul shall be joyful in the Lord. It shall rejoice in his salvation. All my bones shall say, Lord, who is like unto thee, which delivereth the poor from him that is too strong for him? Yea, the poor and the needy from him that spoileth him. False witnesses did rise up. They laid to my charge things that I knew not. They rewarded me evil for good to the spoiling of my soul. But as for me, when they were sick, my clothing was sackcloth. I humbled my soul with fasting and my prayer returned into my own bosom. I behaved myself as though he had been my friend or brother. I bowed down heavenly, heavily as one that mourneth for his mother. But in my adversity they rejoiced and gathered themselves together. Yea, the abjects gathered themselves together against me, and I knew it not. They did tear me and ceased not. With hypocritical mockers in feasts, they gnashed upon me with their teeth. He, 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 I mean, David, David is saying when they came against him, when they did all that they did, he, he still treated them like, like they're a friend. And, and a lot of times, a lot of us find ourselves in that situation. You know, we, we have certain people that are coming against us and things, but we humble ourselves. And, and when we're, when, when we're in their presence, we still treat them as if they're a friend or a brother. And, and we just fast, we fast, we pray. He says, when they were sick, he clothed them. His clothing was, was their sackcloth, you know? So he still clothed them. He still, you know, treated them. And then he says, but they, they mocked him. They talked about him. They, they, they did, they laughed at his calamities. They laughed at his adversities. They, 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 they rejoiced when he was in trouble. And we go through that even now, you know, but, but know, know that God is protecting you and watching over you and keeping you, you know, you, you got to let people be who they are so God can be who he is. You know, that, that, that's just something that was placed in my spirit even uh, a few days ago in our reading. He said, let people be who they are so I can be who I am, you know? So God can come in and be him, you know? All right, so verse 17 Excuse me. Lord, how long will thou look on? 
Rescue my soul from their destructions, my darling from the lions. I will give thee thanks in the great congregation. I will praise thee among much people. Let not them that are mine enemies wrongfully rejoice over me. Neither let them wink with the eye that hate me without a cause. For they speak not peace, but they devise deceitful matters against them that are quiet in the land. Yea, they opened their mouth wide against me and said, Aha, aha, our eye hath seen it. This thou hast seen, O Lord. Keep not silence, O Lord. Be not far from me. Stir up thyself and awake to my judgment, even unto my cause, my God and my Lord. Judge me, O Lord, my God, according to thy righteousness, and let them not rejoice over me. Let them not say in their hearts, Ah, so would we have it. Let them not say we have swallowed him up. Let them be ashamed and brought to confusion together that rejoice at mine hurt. Let them be clothed with shame and dishonor that magnify themselves against me. Let them shout for joy and be glad that favor my righteous cause. Yea, let them say continually, let the Lord be magnified, which hath pleasure in the prosperity of his servant. And my tongue shall speak of thy righteousness and of thy praise all the day long. That pretty much sums up, like I said, let people be people, let them be who they are, so God can be who he is. You know, when when it when anybody come up against his anointed, God makes moves. He does not tolerate that. And so David is like, you know. Don't let them continue to rejoice over me, Lord. Those who devise hurt against me, those who seek to steal, kill and destroy. Don't let them don't let them continue to rejoice over me because I am meek and humble. You know, it's like the the Lord God is going to stand before you and fight your battle. He will fight your battles. He will lift you high and 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 prepare that table prepare that table for you right before your enemies you know i i love that i love that you know in any time any time you need some extra inspiration some extra courage you need in you need anything from the Lord. You can definitely go to Psalms and read it, and 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 it's like the Lord is encouraging you, inspiring you through the words of David. You know, you you need you need a a refuge. You need a a, a place to seek, um, and hide. Go hide in Psalms. You know, just just. Go to your quiet place and just read the read the words of David and uh, in in Psalms, and and you will come out more encouraged, more lifted up, and and you will know to praise the Lord God Almighty. You know. So if you are just coming on, good morning, Kingdom Citizens. Good morning. We just got through reading Psalms 34 and 35. And if you are new watching, today is Testimony Friday. So if you have any testimonies to tell of the goodness of the Lord, um, type that out. Let us rejoice and let us praise and worship the Lord God together of you know the goodness that he is in your life also on Fridays if there's any words that we uh, need to look up 
that we find in the reading of the word throughout the week, we write those down and we look those words up. Now, I only came across one word. If you have any words during the week of the reading of the word, if there's any words, please type those out so we can look them up. Any words that you want to expand on the definition of it. And then after we look up words, we are reading out of K. Arthur's How to Study Your Bible. So this is every Friday. Every Friday we do this. So the one word that I came across during the reading of the word during the week is chode, C-H-O-D-E. And hopefully I'm pronouncing it right. We shall see. So chode out of the Merriam-Webster dictionary. Let, let it pull up. My computer is acting really slow right now. Um, it's taking its time. It's probably time to uh, clean it up or something. All right. Um, it really didn't even give a definition. It just said archaic past tense of chide. So an archaic past tense of chide. And I clicked on that and it says to speak out in angry or displeased rebuke. So the scripture that we were reading, it said that they chode, they chode with, um, I think, I believe it was in the New Testament that they chode with Jesus or they chode. So it says to speak out in angry or displeased rebuke. Um, to voice disapproval, um, to reproach in a usually mild and constructive manner. So this is definitely a word we don't use. Definitely a word. And I don't see... And so, yeah, uh, all the all the definitions, all the definitions is telling you to uh, look up the word chide, C-H-I-D-E. So uh, I guess it's a past tense. In the free dictionary, chide says to scold mildly so as to correct or improve, reprimand, reprimand. To express disapproval. Very interesting word. Very interesting word. All right. So no one has any other words that you would like for me to look up. Okay, so we found we found that word in numbers. We was reading in numbers and and it's when they chode they said they chode with Moses. So it was in it was in numbers when when they when that word popped up. Cause that's that's the reading of the word that we're going through is numbers right now. Very interesting word. So any other, any, are y'all typing out y'all's testimonies? Any other words that y'all would like for me to look up? All right, so if you are just coming on, good morning, good morning, Kingdom Citizens. We read Psalms 34 and 35, and we just looked up the word chode today. Um... And so now we're getting ready to read out of K. Arthur's How to Study Your Bible. 
And so this is done every Friday. Every Friday we are doing a little bit extra and we're actually learning how to study the Bible um, on, on Friday. So we've already finished chapter one. If you are just coming on and you're new to watching this, um, I'm just going to give you a recap of what we learned so far. Um, we've learned that it's very important to have observation, discover what it says, interpretation, discover what it means, and application, discover how it works. And then in chapter one, we learned the uh, principles, five principles uh, when it comes to reading and studying the Word of God. Uh, principle one was begin with prayer. Principle two was identify the context. Principle three was observe the obvious. And then principle four, deal with the text objectively. And then principle five was read with a purpose. Read with a purpose. So we are in chapter two and we are reading, we are learning how to, uh, the title says getting the big picture. Um, just really, really understanding, um, the Bible. So the first one begin on your knees, of course, is going to bounce back off of prayer. You always want to pray when it comes to studying the words of God. You want to always pray. So I'm going to read two. And if, if, you, if you haven't ordered this book so you can follow along with where I'm reading, definitely get this book. It's very, very helpful. K. Arthur's How to Study Your Bible. And then that way you can follow along also where I am actually reading from. All right, so two, read and reread the book. So it explained that when you when you study the words of God, you definitely only want to study book by book. So you want to pick a book out of the Bible that you're going to study and and you know, really allow the Holy Spirit to teach you the word so read and reread the book the more you read the book you have chosen to study the more familiar you will become with it there is no substitute for reading and prayerfully meditating on the word of God if you are studying a longer book it may take several days to read the whole book through one time, but do it. Your goal is to handle God's word accurately. To do that, you've got to see the corners, find the straight edges, the boundaries. That is why it is easier to learn the inductive process with a, excuse me, a shorter book. The first time you read through the book, it may seem like a collection of verses that are barely related to one another. The more you read, however, ooh, excuse me, the more you will see that all of those isolated verses really do belong together. Or when you read, you may come across some things which really puzzle you. Don't stop to try to figure them out. Now is not the time. Remember, first, you look for the corners and straight pieces. Then these difficult pieces will fall into place more easily as you read the book you're going to study. You'll also want to consciously. So that is re read and reread the book. So we, we're learning to begin on your knees to pray. And then read and reread the book. And, 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 and that's one of the reasons why we are in the Word each and every single day. Um, if you are new watching this, 
we've already accomplished getting through the whole Bible in one entire year. So I'm actually going by that same schedule. And so we are in the second year of re reading the words of God every single day. And, and, and we're actually rereading the di all the different books and we're going through it in one entire year. So that's why in the second year I've added looking up words on Friday. On Friday we look up words that that we come across that um, we want to expand the de we want to find out the definitions of them. And then that's why on Fridays we added how to study your Bible. Because now, now that we've read the whole entire Bible, we don't want to just read it. Now we want to study it and we want to increase in knowledge, wisdom, and understanding. You know, we want to allow the Holy Spirit to really take us to that next level of understanding, of knowledge, of wisdom when it comes to reading the Word of God. And so you don't want to just stop here in the morning times. In the morning time, we come, we read. You want to you want to go throughout your day and, and, and continue to stay in the word and, and read and study and meditate and read your commentaries, read your scripture references and things like that. So that way, you know, you will you will start to see things completely different and and your eyes will be opened to the way God sees things to to the way he, you know we're developing a mind of Christ to way to to walk the way he walks talk the way he talks see things the way he sees things and so it's very, very enlightening, very awesome. And there's so much more, so much more that you gain staying in the words of God and, and learning how to study, um, learning how to study uh, the word. I'm going to make sure I mark off where I left off. So yeah, order this book, get it, K. Arthur's How to Study Your Bible. Um, order that, and then that way you can also um, be able to keep up. Any testimonies, any testimonies. One testimony I have right now, currently, I am meeting some awesome, awesome people. Like God is sending some phenomenal, awesome people women of God, men of God into my life, you know, these people, they are kingdom citizens, they're, they're coming with knowledge, they're coming with wisdom, they're coming with, you know, increase into my life, and so it's like, God is just awesome and amazing, and allowing me to meet awesome and amazing people, you know, that he has anointed, appointed and approved. And, 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 and they're coming into my life and, and pouring uh, some knowledge, wisdom and understanding. And um, they, they, they coming with increase, you know. And so that that is a. Uh, just been just been great you know and so the beginning of my year 2021 right now is awesome you know the lord god is like here you go we're gonna conquer and walk victoriously in this year amen so any testimonies any testimonies what is the lord doing All right, so, okay.
Beverly says, I thought this poem was cool when you read the Bible through by Amos, Amos R. Wells says, yes, I thought I knew my Bible reading piecemeal hit or miss. Now a bit of John of Matthew. Now a snatch of Genesis, certain chapters of Isaiah, certain Psalms, the 23rd, 12th of Romans, first of Proverbs. Yes, I thought I knew the word, but I found that thorough reading was a different thing to do. And the way was unfamiliar when I read my Bible through. <laughs> You who like to play at Bible, dip and dabble here and there, just before you kneel a weary and yawn on through a hurried prayer. You who treat the crown of writings as you treat no other book, just a paragraph disjointed, just a crude and patient look. Try a worthier procedure. Try a broad and steady view. You will kneel in very rapture when you read the Bible through. That is beautiful. That's awesome. That is beautiful. Yeah, you we 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 don't want to just read the word. We don't want to just and 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 I, I I used to do that. I used to do that. Dibble and dabble. Pick up Matthew. <laughs> John <laughs> I used to do that very thing and the Lord convicted me and was like no I need you to read every day every day and then he he told me go go online go online and 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 start reading the words of God and encouraging the people to do this every day he said, I thought it was appropriate for today. Yes. Because Fridays, we want to, Fridays, we're learning to not just read the word, but we're learning to study the word. Because we don't want to be dibble dabbles. <laughs> we don't want to, we don't want to be that type of person. We, we want to be able to truly increase in knowledge, wisdom, and understanding when it comes to the word and it is beautiful that's awesome thank you for that poem that that's really beautiful that that's really beautiful all right so anything else that went by really really fast that went by really really fast so if you are just coming on good morning kingdom citizens you will definitely have to go back and watch the replay um i hope that you were able to share and invite today we read psalms 34 35 we looked up the word chode and we read out uh, read a piece out of how to study your bible by kate arthur and thank you, Beverly, for that poem. That was very, very beautiful. Um, so that looks like it's it. Don't forget to share and invite. We are here every morning at 530. Spread the word. Tell everybody. We are here at 530 every morning, diving into the words of God, reading the words of God. And um, and just allowing the Holy Spirit to teach, you know. All right. I love you all. Don't forget to say your faith affirmations and um, and just be in the presence of the Lord all day today. And seek to do good. Seek peace and pursue it. Right. All right, I love you. I love you all. And you all have a wonderful, awesome, beautiful, blessed day on purpose. And I will see you 530 in the morning.